message to the black viruses. Number one, real G's. Stay away from my channel, silly man. Please stay away from my channel, brother. Do that for me. Why am I asking you to stay away from my channel? Because your IQ is not high enough to be over here. And you're a slave. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are a slave. Yes, you are a goddamn slave, fam. You know why I say that? I'm going to tell you why I say that. Because you're almost 60, just like Khalil Lamani's almost 60, just like Jabari's almost 60, just like Shaka's almost 60, just like Brother Larry's like a thousand years old, just like um, who else? Did we say Khalil Lamani? The FBI informant. Now, let me say this. The reason why I'm naming all of those names is all of you brothers, all of you old Negroes, ought to be able to counsel each other and be able to say what's fit for black people or what's not fit for black people. You know, when you're fixing a buffet, you don't want to put good food, poison, good food, good food, Poison, poison, good food. You don't want to put that kind of buffet out for your people. Why would you want to have poison on the buffet? What kind of poison are you talking about, Brother Michael? I'll tell you. Black viruses and poison. Listen to me. The poisonous doctor that Sonnet is about to bring on this show. Under the guise of saying... We want all sides of the argument to be heard. Well, if that's true, and if that's necessary, then you got to be telling me that you fix a buffet for black people and you put good food, poison, good food, poison, good food, poison, 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 poison good food. And I happen to believe that that's your mantra because the other day you were speaking about Dr. Kismikia Corbett. And remember, I put up the article and I think that I might have been the first person to bring this to the fore. Check me. But you put up the article or the video mischaracterizing this sister and I came right behind you and put up the article that says that Number one, she's not an atheist. You mischaracterized that sister on your channel to all of your followers, your poor, foolish followers. And they listened and they ate that up. And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Kismikia Corbett, PhD, is about to go to war against God because you said it. Mm-hmm. See, your, your young foolish followers and your old foolish followers, they don't understand the power of suggestion. Once you accept a person into your heart, into your mind as acceptable, believable, credible, whatever comes across their mind, mouth 90% of the time is going to be believable, credible, and acceptable to you. That's the truth. That's the power of suggestion. Do you get it? If you deem Sarnetta um, credible, reasonable, <laughs> when he's totally unreasonable, <laughs> half senile, desperate, love money more than he loved breathing, and he makes you make such a big foolish mistake of accepting that, eating that, and accepting that type of horrible buffet as acceptable for you. He leaves that out there for you to eat. What do you mean, Michael? When he saw me put up the article with this sister, Kismikia Corbett, PhD, saying out of her own mouth on blackenterprise.com, that she is a Christian. 
Do you not know he left the video up with him saying that this woman is going to go to war against God to kill COVID-19? And don't say you didn't see the video or the article. How smart slayed does that Real G's been over here. Um, you know, is that cool? <laughs> That's good journalism. <laughs> I guess so to some of y'all. To a Negro like Real G's TV that ain't got no sense enough than to not, you know, come on the camera with another man's shirt on when you can be living like that at the age you are. See, watch this. I'm going to show y'all something. I used to be Sinetta's friend. Yes, I did. I used to be a friend. I used to be a friend to this fool ass nigga. Until I learned that he don't give a damn about you. What, what, what reason is there? What reason is there for you to be wearing Sonetta's clothes and you got your own platform? Do that make sense? What sense do it make for you to be wearing Sonetta's clothes and you got your own platform and you're 60? I'm just saying. Do that make sense? Do it make even a little sense? Why you ain't got your own clothes on? Huh? Why you coming on my channel talking about, uh, well, when you was on the tightrope, you ain't have nothing to say. Why you didn't leave your comment up, clown? <laughs> You see, I'm off the tightrope and I woke up. I don't need Sarnetta. You did. I'm me. That's who on my logo. See that? When is Sarnetta gonna wear some of your clothes? Ask, ask yourself that question. When is he gonna wear some of my stuff? When am I gonna be able to make him Push some of my product instead of coming on my channel making a fool out of yourself. You and Khalil Amani. He's got a FBI informant as a best friend. You got an FBI informant as your best friend? And you wondering why all the real cats then left? <laughs> Minister Inky, you 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 feel me? This nigga got an FBI informant on the payroll, and you wonder why the Amin Ra squad don't be want to be around after they seen Khalil Lamani on the video saying that he's going to give a brother head in revenge. I'm going to tell you by the time I suck your dick. I bet you ain't never heard that one before. You, you, you throw your own credibility away because you've been driven crazy on the internet, and then you lose your channel. Over saying you're gonna give another man a bazigga, a blowjob in revenge? And this is Sonetta's friend. See, this is the reason why your platform is so thin. And this is the reason why. Oh, let me get back to the point. The main point is the doctor that you're about to bring on the show. Shout out to the brothers from the Amin Ra squad that brought this point to the fore. See? The brother said the doctor that you're about to bring on the show was in Africa telling people that the AIDS and HIV epidemic is not even real. Is that what y'all doing? And the same doctor was telling people don't take AIDS and HIV suppressive medicines. Go ahead and just take vitamins. A white version of Nature Boy. And you didn't have Nature Boy on your show, too, giving coronavirus and influenza out to Jabari. Mm -hmm. Nature Boy had Jabari so sick, Jabari went to the hospital and thought he had corona. <laughs> Make me want to put my mask on now. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
Now listen here, man. I'm going to get off of this. But y'all need to be ashamed of yourself that you're so desperate. You're so goddamn desperate. Desperate for money. That's what the love of money will do to you. Money itself is not inherently evil, but the love of it. Why is the love of money evil? I tell you. The love of money is so evil because once you become a rich man, 99.9% .9 of humanity will do anything, anything, just any goddamn thing to keep from going back to being a poor man, including rob, cheat, and steal, brother polite. Huh? I say in closing, I okay the message. I back the message. Huh? I support the message of the Amin Ra squad. Boycott sign of the TV until there's a change. Peace and black RBG Hebrew power. So I'm gonna take it all the way there. I'm gonna tell people by the time I suck you.